Hey there, YouTubers. It's Dan Strong with Excel VBA as well. Um, uh, in this video, I wanted to show you uh, KRN 14242's Random Names Generator. Uh, he took the, our video lesson on random names to the new level, so you might like this. Um, the way he did it is really, uh, really interesting. So he's got a male and female selector. So let's do a female, and then you click this nice shiny button here, select gender, and click here. So I'm going to click it, and it says, how many random female names do you want? You can pick a number between 1 and 562. So that must be a count of how many female uh, names there are, or perhaps how many rows that he has here that are all souped up with a function. Anyway, let's pick, how about, two random female names. Alani Milika and Arletta Helixson. Let's try a couple uh, males. Okay, so there's 922 male names that are available. Let's type in 50. Hit OK. Oh, wow. So there's 50 names just, just like that. Kildare Sagendorf. Shidi Talahitewa. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. So uh, we're going to explore how he did it. Uh, first of all, these are not functions. These are actual uh, names that have appeared in those cells using Visual Basic. And um, initially, I was uh, I was wondering where his list, his database of names were. So I right clicked here, and I noticed that unhide was impossible. So I was thinking, well, where the heck are all the other names if they're not in another worksheet? This is the only worksheet that there is. Um, and I was looking around, and here I zoom right. Finally, I realized the very first cell that's available is F, or column F. And so I figured A, B, C, D, and E columns must be hidden. So if you will uh, click and drag on the column line and right click and go to unhide, you'll see that it'll unhide these uh, several hidden columns there. So you got a list of boys names, a list of girls names, and a list of last names. And I thought that was really clever. So uh, yeah, there's a bunch of these. So he's got a lot of variables declared at the beginning. Uh, longs, those are all different, uh, those are all numbers. Uh, and then the strings are, of course, are text, so probably boy's name, first name B, first name G for girl, and last name. So then you have, uh, so this clears out the last report here, and calculates, and he has declared which columns he wants to use for boy is column 1, girl is column 3, and last name is column five, so that's good to declare because then he can use uh, he can use that later whenever he's picking out whichever column he wants to use. So then he says if gender equals female, I'm assuming this cell has been named gender, and it sure has. So if that cell equals female, then do all this stuff. Have an input box that uh, asks how many female names that we want, and uh, it gets the last row for the females column here. If we could number between one. He does a loop here. So for x equals two. that out, I'm assuming how many is maybe, uh, how many, uh, probably the result of So we'll go to that, uh, from two to, you know, that column number, perhaps, plus one. And then he's got a random between, three of them set up. So he's going to, so for each time it loops, he's going, this is really clever, it goes to a random row number um, for uh, for that and then he takes that variable and uses that r uh, that random first name g for a girl 
as the row number. So that's the row number, that random, and it'll take that random, let's say it was a random number between 1 and 20, he would take row, let's say maybe it was 17, he would take whatever's right there, a hern, and it would pop that row uh, 17 right there, and then the girl column, which is 3. That's super clever, and I love that. And then that's pretty much it. At the very end, it uh, turns the calculation back on, so that makes things even faster. And in the end, you get this beautiful result here. Scroll over. Mail names. And it just, bam, just shoves it in there. So uh, I believe he's authorized me to share this, which is really nice of him. So I'm going to go ahead and hide these. I'll click save and now it is available on my Dropbox account. Uh, you're going to want to get a Dropbox account of your own because it's just awesome. It's a way to keep all your files available to you at any time uh, through the internet, with a mobile phone, whatever. Uh, click on the link that we have on this video if you want to get your own Dropbox account and it's free and you'll start out with I believe like two and a half gigs. Uh, maybe it's more nowadays, I, I don't remember, but you'll get an extra 500 megabytes by clicking on my link there. Thanks for watching, guys.